Hey, what's up, guys? MGH here. Welcome back to the Arsenal career mode. Today, we have Southampton to kick us off. And as you can see here, it is vital. We get three points. Man City, five points clear with eight games to go. So it is really tight. But after this game, we have the quarterfinals of the Champions League. And you guys are about to find out who we will be playing against. But first, let's go ahead and play the Southampton game. I'm going to be using the second team here, which... When you look at it, isn't really that bad, is it? It's uh, it's pretty incredible. So that's the team we're going to use. We're actually going to simulate the game. Hopefully, we will get a win. Considering we're at home, I'm pretty sure we will. And we get a 4-1 massive victory there. They got one goal, which isn't great. Although, it looks like they might have actually scored first. Possibly. But Saka scoring twice. Well played him. So, let's find out who we've got in the quarterfinals. Well, there you go. I was hoping it'd be a little bit more... Exciting. Um, but there you go. It is Bayern. We are playing against Bayern Munich. And we've got Dybala saying that he wants to play more. Okay, well, Ceballos is happy because he's been playing a lot more recently. But yeah, Dybala, come on, son. Just because we didn't play you against Southampton before a Champions League game. I mean, can I just say, we're, we're now, it's December 3rd right now. I'll be uploading this today. The game still has such massive ish issues. I, I don't understand how the game is still not properly working. And it's December now. It really is shocking. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, also, I got a question in the last episode. People asking uh, why I'm not doing training. Because I feel like my squad doesn't need it anymore. It's pretty incredible. I've just seen Pepe is now 90 rated. Yeah, I, I just I don't think we, we need to be using the training. I actually think training is pretty broken in FIFA these days. You can level up your players very, very quickly. So uh, I decided just not to use it in Season 3. But anyway, we're playing against Bayern away from home up first. So hopefully we can get ourselves some away goals. Let's do the press conference here and answer some questions in German. I'm not going to lie, that didn't sound German, but I'm pretty sure it was. It just didn't sound it at first. Bellerin's in good form. Oh, have I not selected the first team? I'm pretty sure I did. Will we see more of Bellerin? Well, yeah, he's going to play. So annoying that you have to have the correct squad highlighted for the questions to be about that squad. So um, they reckon Bayern is similar in terms of strength. We all need luck. Why would I say that? We have one of the best teams. Let's give our, our team a little bit of a boost in confidence. We have been very, very good in the last half of the season at least. The start of the season was not great. Um, do you think they'll win? I mean, give me strength. EA, man, who writes these? Is there any chance that Bayern will win? What kind of question is that? Well, of course there's a chance. Um, well, the best thing to say here is there is a good chance that we will win because that's football. It's pretty much one team wins all the other wins. So Torreira is still injured right now. So Willock is going to come in and Genduzi will be the defensive midfielder. I mean, to be fair, if you look at his stats in the bottom right there, can you see it? Yep, I'm not in the way. Defending is actually his second best stat there. He's got 85 in passing, 83 in defending. So he can do a very good job there. Willock will come in and do fine as well. I thought about using Ceballos, but I haven't used Willock in a little while. So why not? We've also got Kondogbia who can come on. Dybala starts, Werner starts. Do I go with Marlon or Gnabry? I'm going to go with Gnabry for this one. Pepe on the right. Bellerin is playing. He's going to be captaining today. Saliba, Longley, Tierney and Leno. Oh, and by the way, there was actually an update on FIFA today. On the PC version, that is. I don't believe it's going to be out on console. It is just a PC-only patch. So clearly some issues have been fixed. I don't know what issues they were. I haven't seen the patch notes. But that does mean, of course, the Realism mod... No longer works. We have to wait for um, the Realism mod to be updated. So today, no Realism mod. Although, there's been a couple of occasions this season when I haven't had it on because of updates. There's been so many updates. It's pretty crazy. And I haven't noticed that much of a difference. So I don't think it... Oh, we'll take that, will we? Yep, thank you very much. I don't think it affects the gameplay at all. Um, having spoke to the guy who made it, it doesn't really make any changes to the game play. Um, but it will make changes to other results. So um, Man City will be even stronger without the Realism mod. Because right now in FIFA 20, in career mode, big teams almost go unbeaten every single season. So I'm actually at a disadvantage without the Realism mod. Because um, the Realism mod makes it 
more realistic. City actually will drop points and things like that. So uh, it's going to make it more interesting going into the final part of the season. And there you go with the shot coming in from Coman. Leno has to make the save straight away. Ten minutes in. And it's already looking a little bit dodgy for us. Gnabry against his old club clears it out. Here's Eggstein now into Pogba. What a team they've got, by the way. Sula in defence as well. They're just playing this around. They're comfortable in possession. Icardi puts it through, but Saliba should be able to clear it. Oh, Willock can instead. Ah, now. Can we hit them on the break? No, because I could not control the ball. He's going to get a shot away. He is. Oh, Leno. Has to make the save again. It is all Bayern in the start of this game. Let's see if we can clear this out and hit them on the break, though. It's not a great delivery. Oh, oh, God. Okay, we've got it. Quick, hit this one out. Right, chest it down, Dybala. Okay, we'll take that. Thank you very much. Now, can we get Pepe in behind? We'll give it to Genduzi. Pepe, can you make a run, please? He's just standing there. Here we go. Okay, that's not what I wanted, but Dybala will carry this forward. We're going to have to go for a cross. And it's going to go out for a corner. This has been a very good game so far. Very even. Let's get the cross in from Genduzi. Werner's there. Oh, couldn't quite get there. Can he keep it in? Nope. But we're going to get a throw. When I say it's been even, I would say Bayern have had better chances. But we've had the ball quite a bit. So that's okay. Inside for Werner. Good turn. Hit it. Go on. Oh, Neuer, who must be at least 40 years old by now. Still at the very top of his game. Well... That didn't quite go well. I tried to match Muller's run there with Tierney. And Longley's not been able to get the challenge in. Oh, luckily the pass wasn't great. Now we hit them on the break again. Over to Pepe, who's easily been our best player this season. Get him in behind. No. And Schuller steps in. We were about to get in behind them. Here we go. This time we will. Oh, look at that. Look at Gnabry far on the left side. It's not a great pass. We're going to go for it, though. Come on. Off the post. Rebound. Yes! Willock will get the away goal. We are 1-0 up against the run of play. They've definitely been a better attacking side. We've had more possession. But the only thing that matters is goals scored. And it's Willock who I brought in instead of Ceballos, Kondogbia. Players that you would argue are better. And he's right place, right time. Maybe I should throw him up front. Oh, Bayern are coming forward now. Muller taking on Willock. He's done so well there. Look at Pepe as well. That could be a good ball. Go on. No, Sula is equal to it. That's going to be it for the first half, pretty much. It really has been a very, very high pace. Very competitive first 45 minutes. And it's not over yet. Uh, is it going to be over yet? No. Yep, yeah, we should be able to clear that out. Is it me or is Jonathan Tarr playing left back? I've got a feeling he might be. Let's go ahead and check that. And let's have a look at the stats as well. I want to see how even this has actually been. Um, match facts. Let's have a look. Oh, what? I swear I had more possession. No way. I've actually been dominated. Okay, let's have a look at the player ratings and then go over there. So, yeah, you've got Jonathan Tarr playing left back. Why not put Hernandez at left back and Jonathan Tarr at centre back? That makes no sense whatsoever. But, uh, hey, it's FIFA. You know what it's like. I think, if anything, we should be targeting that area. We should be trying to run down their left side. Because Pepe against Jonathan Tarr, we know there's only going to be one winner in that race. So let's see if we can get Pepe going down this right side. He's just standing there at the moment. Actually, if I try and ping that in. Oh, hello. He's in. Hits it. Oh, rebound. Dybala's there with the header. It's gone in. Oh, my God. There was no way that was going in. No way. I thought it was off target. I wasn't sure why he went with his head, but hey, he's done it. He's 91 rated, so maybe the game just thought this would be more likely to go in if I use a heading animation here. Surely you go with your right foot there, but wow. Neuer had no chance. We are leading 2-0 away from home. And we went down their left side. That is their weakness. So we are going to keep putting pressure on there until they hemorrhage goals. And then by the time we go to the Emirates, it's already game over. Or I could concede. No. Oh, my God. We could still concede here. Nope. Leno again with a big save. Honestly, Bayern could have had three goals in this game. But Leno has made some very vital saves. And now we might even be able to get forward again. Werner over the top for Gnabry. Great control. He's up against Kimmich. Nice. Into Werner. Little fake shot. Onto the edge of the box for Willock. Bang it. Oh, that was a little bit disappointing. 
Right, what I'm going to do is make some changes now because I think I've got enough goals. I don't need to worry about that. I should be a bit more defensive. So let's bring in Kondogbia and maybe a little bit... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Controversial? I'm going to bring in Madison because I think he does more defensively than Dybala does. So he will drop back a little bit. And hopefully we should be able to get the 2-0 win. A clean sheet would be insane. They've picked up an injury and it's Winks. Can you believe Winks is at Bayern? Okay. Bayern starting to get a little bit of control in midfield. It looks like Winks is okay now. We've got our changes on. Genduzzi's done really well against Pogba there. And I've got to say, although Jonathan Tarr defensively at left back isn't great, he's been good going forward. He's a centre back. Why would you put him at left back game? It's so stupid. Right, let's try and get down the left side here with Tierney. What a ball that is. Can we get a third here? Put Gnabry in. Nope. Okay, he stopped his run right as I passed it, of course. Can Dogby are trying to win this back, but uh, they get away with it. 15 minutes left now. That's a really good ball. In behind. He's going to get a cross in. Oh, no, he's passed it short. Eckstein now. It's a good run and a decent shot. And guess who's there again? Leno. What a man. Less than 10 minutes now. It's going quickly. Ronaldo is on. I've taken off Werner and brought on Ronaldo. That's not a good pass. We've got away with it, though. Let's just drive forward. If we've got the ball, we cannot concede, right? Now here's Ronaldo. We could try and do something a bit stupid here. Oh, my God. He's gone through. Finish it. He's missed it. Oh, man. A prime Ronaldo. No way he's missing that. They've just brought on Aguero. Why are they swapping strikers? Bring on Aguero up front with the Cardi. I don't think that's actually Aguero, is it? It's a regen, I think, or a new gen. Interesting. I thought it looked different, the spelling. Come on, keep the ball now. Ronaldo into Madison. Cruz does well, but we've still got it. Madison's going to hit it. Oh, my God. I've said it many times. Goal and assist every time he plays. There is still time. We're going to get the corner in now from Pepe. Swings in for Gnabry. No one's there, but Gnabry might pick it back up. Longley has. Goes for the strike and Neuer saves it. But that is it, guys. A massive 2-0 win away from home. Two away goals going into the game against em in, at the Emirates against them. I, th I think we're good. I think we can make it through. Oh, my God. Barcelona beat Real Madrid 4-1. Wow. Looks like Barcelona are going through. I bet you we get them in the semi-finals. Pepe now complaining. What? What are you complaining about? You've had the best season you've had. You've played pretty much every single game. It's ridiculous, right? It really is. But anyway, up next we have Bournemouth away from home. Where are they in the table right now? They are in 10th place. So this is actually quite a big game. City won their match. So they're still five points clear here with seven games to go. Let's play against Bournemouth. Now, I'm not really sure why I'm doing this, but Enketia is starting up top today. We've got Martinelli on the left, Saka on the right, Madison at Cam. I, I don't know why. I've got Aubameyang, Lacazette, Ronaldo and Werner, yet I'm throwing Enketia up top. I just saw him and I thought, Do you know what, I've not given him a chance. So why not? I've got a really strong midfield behind him. We'll see how it goes. We can always bring on another striker, so it's it's fine. Uh, the back five have changed as well. Actually, no, sorry, just the back four. We've kept the same keeper. Leno is just too good to drop right now. But Kolasinac comes in. We've got Holding as captain. We've got Chambers, Valerie, Kondogbia, Ceballos. That's the lineup pretty much. Oh, hello. Down the left side. What a ball that is. In for Martinelli. Now through for Nketiah. This could be a great start. I'm going to hit it with his left foot. Oh, that was so close. Oh, Brooks has done Kolasinac there. Don't let him shoot. Oh, he's offside, surely. Surely. No. He's on. Oh, my God. Dolberg just cheated the game. How? How is he onside? Oh, he stepped in. He did. Wow. You got to give it to him. Well, 10 goals in the Premier League for Dolberg. He has got that quality. We're 1-0 down. And I've got three, basically three academy players up top. Although they're higher rated than usual, but geez, what was I thinking? We've got loads of time to get back in this. Here we go. Nketiah inside. Ceballos hits the post. Come on, game. Oh, my God. Can dog be a... Oh, my God. He's still going. Oh, my God. Win the header. No way. This game is rigged. 
I'm sorry, but this doesn't feel right. How am I not scoring? Oh, here they come again. Cross comes in. Hey, that's a foul. How is he not? Oh, my God. <laughs> what is going on in this game? They've hit the post now, but I think it was offside or there was a foul in there. I'm not really sure. Right, we've got a few minutes here before the break. Let's try and get one last attack going. Put it through. Nice. Martinelli getting into the box here. Penalty. Yes. We're getting a pen and surely that's a yellow. You, you don't get away with that. Thank you very much. Yellow card for Stacey. And now we've got a penalty. I'm guessing Ceballos. No. Madison. Who's, who's got the highest penalties? It has to be him then. 78 is my highest. Okay. Well, I'm going to go... Let's go left side. Kind of mid area like this. Come on. Don't mess this up, Matt. Get in there. Oh, what a penalty that penalty that was. And there's half time. I mean, I should be winning this 4-1. 5-1. But we're 1-0 at the break. Big second half coming. And just to be safe, I'm being a little bit of a scaredy cat. But Ronaldo is coming on. I just, I can't risk it. If we don't win this game, and City do, it's, yeah, game over. So... I get why I wanted to put him in the team, Nketiah, but it was a bit silly and uh, I regretted it as soon as I did it. So uh, we've rectified it. We've got Ronaldo on now. Oh my God. What a strike from Lerma. Looks like they're going to be making a change, are they? Yep, yeah, they're taking off Cochrane. It's an interesting name. Oh my God. Wow, they should have scored there. Right, ignore it. Let's just go. <laughs> to pretend that never happened looks like they bring on they brought on Gerhardt was it so not exactly an attacking change get Saka in oh that's a lucky deflection got the attack still going here into Ronaldo nope the pass wasn't great looks like I'm gonna get it back but that's gonna be a foul we're actually running out of time here I'm getting a bit stressed I'm not messing around anymore Genduzi and Marlon coming on as well Marlon will get in behind and hopefully Cross it in or score himself. Just get us something because... Oh, no. Oh, my God. They should have scored again. We really are going into last chance saloon time now. This is it. We will not be able to get three points unless we score now. And I've just done that. And now they're on the break. It's three versus two. Although we're getting men back now. Can I get it? Yes, Chambers. That could be huge. If we score now, that'll be absolutely massive, that tackle. Okay, what do we do? Pass inside. Two minutes. This is it. Last chance. This could be the difference between failing to win the Premier League and maybe winning it. No, not Kolasinac. Genduzi. Yes! <laughs> We've done it in the last minute. And it's Genduzi. I just brought him on. Oh, my God. The relief right now. Oh, that is mental. Absolutely mental. I am an idiot in the first place for bringing on someone like Kunketia in a game this important. But I've then made substitutions that have changed the game. Genduzi, thank you so much. That is one of the most important goals we'll ever score. Because now we can still keep up with City. And don't forget, we play them at the end of the season. So if we're within two points of them... A win against City would win us the title. Oh, I'm not ready for that kind of pressure. Good news. Torreira is back from injury. He will not be featuring in this game against Bayern. Maybe as a sub, he could. Um, but no, we're, we're probably not going to because I don't want to risk him getting injured again. So, here we go. We're now back at the Emirates for this one. Let's take Torreira out and bring in... I guess... Oh, we've got so many tired legs after that last game. I'm, I'm guessing we have to go with probably Maitland-Niles or Cazorla. I think Maitland-Niles is the right choice here. He's unhappy at the moment. I don't blame him. We, we never use him. Aubameyang down to 84 rated. That is madness. Okay, what do we want to do? I think, I think that's the team I'm going to use. Is there anyone I want to have on the bench just in case? I think maybe Willock could come in handy. Swap him out. Uh, mm, no, we're going to leave that. Okay, is this, is this the team to get us through into the semi-finals? I think it is. Looks like they're going with pretty much the exact same lineup. Although Cruz is starting. I don't think he started the last one, did he? So it's Cruz, Pogba and Eggstein, I'm guessing, in midfield. 
Is Jonathan Tarr playing left back again? No, he's not. Oh, why have I passed that inside? I don't know why I did that. But it looks like they've gone with Hernandez at left back. So they've learned from it. In fact, I want to check what their defence looks like before we get into the game here. So they've done exactly what I said they should have done. Just swapped Hernandez and Tarr around. Pogba at CDM though? Not so sure about that one, Bayern. Seeing as you need a goal, I wouldn't even be playing with a defensive midfield. Just go all out. You need three goals in this game. And we'll take that. Thank you very much. Here goes Bellerin. Over to Gnabry. Look at the space he's got. This could be game over already. If we can score here. Inside for Dybala. Rebound for Pepe maybe? Nope. Unfortunately, we couldn't quite get a goal there. And Icardi with a decent first touch. But Maitland-Niles clears it up. Oh, no. Why do I get the feeling a goal's come in? Trying to block any passes. But they've still got it through. Here's Pogba now. Over to Coman. No. Oh, Leno. Leno, I love you. I actually love you. He's a lifesaver. He really is. And he's got us going on the counter here with that quick rollout. Genduzi. Through for Dybala. Through for Gnabry. Genduzi's making his run. Is Gnabry going to get there? He is. Cut back. Genduzi. To make the Niles. Bang it. Oh, that wasn't maybe the greatest idea. If I passed it maybe one more time. We've still got it, though. Dybala. At the top for Gnabry. He's in. Cross it. Oh. Oh, Neuer punches it out. What a start this has been. Absolutely mental. He's punched out again, but Saliba finesses it. It's in. My first goal with Saliba this season, I believe. And this is surely game over. There's no way Bayern come back from that. Neuer punches the cross. Maybe not the greatest idea, but how many times does it fall for a player where you can just finesse it in? It very rarely happens, but... It's happened today. It's gone through two players. Somehow we've scored from there. I, I don't know. Oh my god. Hernandez, all he had to do was move slightly to his right and he just he stops that going in. There's no way they're scoring four goals here. If they score now though, you never know. The pressure could be on. Coman takes it back a step. I don't know why you would do that. He could have got a cross in no problem. And there the cross comes in. It gets blocked. They've still got it, though. Try and stop that pass. No, this isn't good. He's offside. Never mind, then. A couple of minutes left here. I think Bayern probably had to score two goals by now. Just makes me feel more and more confident that we're, we're good here. So I can have a bit of fun with this. Gnabry into Werner. Two players that probably should have gone to Bayern. Gnabry in the box now for Dybala. There it is. Guys, this is just too easy to split them open. They have a very good defence, but they're slow. They're slow to react. This is on ultimate difficulty. It's not hard. Look at that. Jonathan Tarr so slow to react. Pogba as a DM is just stupid. And Dybala is obviously going to score from there. And it's 4-0 on aggregate. Arsenal getting their own back against Bayern for the first time in ages. And that's half time. 4-0. Wow. Oh, that's a goal. No, the clean sheet. Oh, I'm so upset. Actually, no, I don't care. There's not enough time. I don't need to worry. But it's a shame because we've we've defended so well in this game. And it's just one pass from uh, from Pogba into Cruz. I mean, that is an insane partnership, isn't it? Cruz and Pogba. Doesn't really get much better than that. Imagine if you threw in a Kante or something. Wow, that'd be, uh, yeah, that'd be rather good. But they've got their goal. A consolation goal. And there's 20 minutes to go now. Oh, what a kick. Straight to Marlon here, who's just come on. We've also brought on Willock. That's a foul, surely. Ref, come on. He's actively trying to let Bayern get a few more goals so it doesn't look as embarrassing for them. Oh, God, that was dangerous. But, yeah, we've got a few minutes left here. Might as well try and get another goal if we can. Into Werner. Can try and get through the middle here. Can he go for it? No, nope. he gets tackled by Stuhler, but that will be it, surely. How many minutes of added time? I reckon two. Yep, there you go. Two minutes to play here. We're going through to the semi-finals. This is exciting times for this team. And I'm finishing with academy players in there. Willa and Ainsley Maitland-Niles helping us into the semi-finals. It's amazing, man. What a great game that was. Two fantastic legs against a very strong Bayern side, but they just didn't have enough. And defensively, they were just all over the place at times. And going through to the semi-finals is Atletico Madrid, I'm guessing. I don't actually know. That's confusing, isn't it? Um, but Valencia are going through, we're going through, and so are Barcelona. So 
it's either Atletico Madrid and Juventus, and then you've got Valencia, us, and Barcelona. You know I'm getting Barcelona. It, it just It's just going to happen, isn't it? Um, I would take Valencia, though. Please give me Valencia. But that is going to be the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it, and we'll be back again tomorrow with the start of the semi-finals. I'm guessing it's... I think there's two Premier League games, and then it is the semi-finals. You will find out who we're playing... We've also got Man City in the next uh, next episode as well, but that is a semi-final of the FA Cup, I believe. So um, it will be kind of a warm-up match for the big one in the Premier League. So I'm really excited to, to finish this series off. It's going to be an incredible last few episodes. So hopefully you're excited to watch it, and I will see you next time.